Master Christ, my Lord. The only way to meet my God. Jesus is the Christ, my Lord. He washed away my sins. If you destroy the devil's work, you can plant small seeds of devotion. Late in the afternoon, his disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the nearby farms and villages and buy something to eat. But Jesus said, You feed them. Jesus got into a boat with his disciples and went to a secluded place. Then many people came to the place where Jesus was. When Jesus saw them, he had great pity on them and said, Who is the one that made the lame walk, raised the dead to life, made the blind see, the deaf to hear, and raised the paralyzed? I am the Messiah, Christ God of Genesis 3.15. As the son said, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him a question. Jesus, this is a remote place and the day is already getting late. Send the people to a nearby village so they can buy food. But Jesus said, You feed them. Why did they say this? The disciples were not satisfied even though Jesus was by their side. However, if I crush the head of the devil who is controlling me to be a greedy person, I will give food first. Jesus spoke to his disciples to train them in spiritual warfare. Also, he is speaking to us today. The disciples were surprised and said, Jesus, are you telling us to go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and feed them? We have no money. Should we go that far? We only followed you, we have nothing. Then Jesus said, Go and find out how many loaves you have. So the disciples found that a child had brought five barley loaves and two fish. Today, the young child who gave five barley loaves and two fish to Jesus heard Jesus' words and his spiritual eyes were opened. In order to save humans bound by original sin of Genesis 3, God the Creator came to this earth by barring the womb of the Virgin Mary. Jesus Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15, is the King of Kings who destroyed the works of the devil. He came to understand this. You feed them. After hearing Jesus, the young child put his lunchbox out without any hesitation. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Make everyone sit in groups on the grass. Then they sat down in groups of a hundred and groups of fifty. Jesus accepted the five loaves and two fish offered by the child, looked up to heaven and gave thanks. Then he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples to distribute it to the people. Of course, he also shared the two fish with everyone. But a truly amazing and surprising miracle happened. Even though the disciples distributed fish and bread to everyone, it did not decrease even a bit. There was enough food to feed more than 5,000 people. They all ate their fill, and gathering the remaining food, it filled to the brim 12 baskets. A child's small devotion may seem like nothing to people, but through this devotion, God opens the gates of heaven and gives tremendous blessings. Many people only want to receive the blessing of five loaves and two fish, not interested in the one who worked such a miracle that five barley loaves and two fish were enough to feed 5,000 people. The disciples followed Jesus Christ the Son of God, but they were so foolish that they could not give the small devotion themselves because they lacked satisfaction. In fact, 
Many wrong things are imprinted in our bodies. So, if I crush the head of the father of lies, the devil, the greedy and the liar, in the name of Christ, the offspring of the woman of Genesis 3.15, I can plant small seeds of devotion with a sense of satisfaction. Adam and Eve were created in the image and likeness of God, but why did they break down and leave God? This is because they fell into the temptation of Satan that appeared in Genesis 3 and became obsessed with the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which God warned them not to eat, and they disobeyed God's word. Ultimately, sin, death, pain, and obsession enters the body of a person whose relationship with God is broken. Consequently, the spiritual emptiness of dissatisfaction, chaos, and darkness entered the human body. John 8.44 Satan led us, the children of the devil, into our desires and made us live with the obsession of dissatisfaction. God sent Jesus Christ, the Messiah of Genesis 3.15, to solve this problem and completely restore our relationship with God. When we accept Jesus Christ of Genesis 3.15 into our souls, we receive the identity and authority of becoming children of God. So, if we crush the head of the devil who makes us ignore the love of Christ who died on the cross on Calvary, and makes us live unsatisfied only by having obsessions, the kingdom of God will come. This is how I can plant the seeds of devotion to give what's mine first. So, shall we confess the miracle of seven seconds together? Jesus is the Christ. I am a child of God. All problems are gone. Satan be gone. Filled with the Holy Spirit. World evangelization. To the ends of the earth, I will be your witness. I bless our remnants, like the young child who offered the five barley loaves and two fish to Jesus, to become the summit of world evangelization that saves all 237 nations by planting seeds of small devotions for the kingdom and righteousness of God. Almighty God, Thank you for having me plant small seeds of devotion after destroying the greedy devil's work following the words of Jesus who said, You give them something to eat. The filthy Satan who binds my soul with greedy liar even today be completely shattered from my body in the name of Jesus Christ. May I continue to engage in the spiritual battle to become the spiritual summit who will save the 237 nations all around the world. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>